Congratulations, Mike, again to you and Mary. And we wish you well as you represent us in next year's Sunbelt Ag Expo, Southeastern Farmer of the, uh, of the Year. And we know you'll represent us well in that contest. Let's give them another round of applause. I want to thank uh, everybody that was responsible for this award, especially Kentucky Farm Bureau, and I think Swisher Sweets had something to do with it too. I, uh, in life, I've, I've been dealt a pretty good hand, and I think all of us that are born here in the United States uh, have been dealt a pretty good hand. Here again, we're less than 3% of the world population, and if you look about uh, things that go around the world, we don't have to look over our shoulder about wherever the next food's going to come from or somebody's shooting at us. I would like to uh, really thank the manager who, who actually wins this award for us, and that's my wife, Mary. If it wouldn't be for her, and it's like, like all farm women, generally they basically run the show at home. They take care of the records, they do the work that us farmers would rather not do. And uh, when I say I've been an elder pretty good hand, I've got a son that came back to the farm and wanted to farm. And uh, hopefully he will continue the process. And we've got number one grandson up here, he's the third generation, and I, I think we're just borrowing the farm or the land from him. And uh, I think Ryan Quarles made a good statement yesterday that 70% of this farmland that we're trying to farm will change hands in the next 20 years. And if there's any, any way of succeeding or succession that land to somebody who wants to farm it, please take the opportunity to do to it. And here again, I've, I've been blessed to have my son come back to Bath County and help farm. And there's not many people that have had that opportunity or, or have been blessed like that. And again, I want to thank my wife and, and thank Farm Bureau. Thank you very much.